Jack. This is Jack. Jack loves math. He also loves to eat. This is Jack's favorite food. The bag says that you should give your dog three cups of food daily for each 55 pounds the dog weighs. If Jack weighs 45 pounds, how many cups of food should he get each day? Let's look at Jack's problem. Jack's problem says that there's three cups of food for every 55 pounds. Jack weighs 45 pounds. So let's look at how to set this problem up in order to solve it. First, we have three cups of food for every 55 pounds. So we, what we basically have is our cups over our pounds. Now we've used two bits of information that we have from the problem. We have one more bit of information of 45 pounds. Since I want to keep my cups over my pounds, My uh, number is going to go down here on the bottom. Let's set up our ratio over here. And I have my ratio here. We know our ratios are equivalent. And we know this is the unknown part. That's the problem that we have to find, the answer that we have to find. Once again, keeping cups over pounds. Now, can you solve this problem? There are many different ways to solve Jack's problem, but let's look at one using cross multiplication. I'm going to take my three cups of food, I'm going to multiply that times 45, it's going to be equal to 55 times my x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 3 times 45 is equal to 135. Take my 135. That's going to be equal to 55. times my x now I need to go ahead and divide both sides by 55 so I want to get rid of this 55 on this side Now these two cancel out. We're going to take 135, divide that by 55. And that comes out to my repeating decimal. And I can just round that off to two point five two point five cups. So Jack should get two and a half cups a day of food. This is Haley, Jack's big sister. She loves math and she loves to eat too. This is Haley's favorite food. The bag says to give her two cups for every 40 pounds that she weighs. If Haley weighs 50 pounds, how many cups of dog food should she get on a daily basis? Now let's look at Haley's problem. 
He always dog food says to feed two cups of food for every 40 pounds. Haley weighs 50 pounds. So here's my three pieces of information. What I want to do is I'm going to create a ratio. Two cups of food for every 40 pounds. Because I want to keep my cups of food over my pounds. So I'm going to keep cups of food on this side over my pounds. So my pounds is going to come down here on the bottom of this side. And that's going to be equal. These two are equal. So this is my own unknown quantity. So I'm going to use the variable x to represent my unknown variable. I want you to see if you can solve the problem. Now let's look at how to solve Haley's problem. We have our two cups of food, a ratio of two cups of food to 40 pounds, and we're trying to find the equivalent ratio of x over 50 pounds. So what we're going to do is, there's lots of different ways to solve this problem, but we're going to use cross multiplication. So we're going to go ahead and take our 2, and we're going to multiply that times 50. That's going to be equal to 40. times x. So when I cross multiply I know that 2 times 50 is equal to 100 and that's going to be equal to 40 X. Now what I want to do is to get rid of the 40 and just have my variable X remaining. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal inverse of 40, which is 1 over 40, which is the same as dividing both sides by 40. So what I'm actually doing here is 40 divided by 40 is equal to 1. So I'm going to have 100 divided by 40 is equal to 1x. So I'm going to take my 100 divided by 40. And that's going to come up to 2.5. So that's equal to... So Haley needs to get two and five tenths or two and a half cups of food a day.